So I'm going to start with uh, ammonia and hydrochloric acid. And I'm going to start with the heavier gas. Hydrochloric acid is 36 grams per mole. So real quickly, I am going to add some hydrochloric acid to my cotton. All right. And I'm going to add it to this tube. So I'm just going to dip some hydrochloric acid here. And I've got concentrated here today, as opposed to yesterday. I'm going to push that into the tube. Okay, I'm going to stop for that now. All right, next up, I have my ammonia, and I've got some concentrated ammonia hydroxide today, as opposed to yesterday. And I'm going to do the same thing. Put some of that on, on a cotton ball. And I'm going to push that in. And I'm going to stop for that as well. Now, where these gases meet should give me an idea about the relative rates of diffusion. Ammonia being approximately 17 grams per mole and hydrochloric acid being approximately 36 grams per mole should tell me the ammonia is lighter. Therefore, its velocity at the same temperature is going to be greater, and we should be meeting somewhere, I believe, toward the hydrochloric end. Okay, we're going to have to wait a few minutes so we can see that, that line. So right now, the faster gas should be meeting my slower gas, somewhere in the middle here. All right, and just make sure my tops are on. And we're going to have to wait a few minutes and come back and I'll show you that line. So after 15 minutes elapsed time, we looked and see that there was clearly an interface between the two gases. And that interface, okay, where these two gases are meeting is creating that white cloudy smoke, which is the ammonium chloride. You can see that smoke proliferating right there. If I pull back, keeping my focus a little bit, you'll see that that is clearly on the hydrochloric acid side. And clearly the ammonium, ammonia, is lighter than the hydrochloric acid, and we would expect it to diffuse closer to the hydrochloric end side. And there it is. Now, interesting enough, we can make some measurements where this is. We should expect that the hydrochloric acid side of the tube is the place where they interface because if you look at some quick calculations of Graham's Law, you'll see that Graham's Law, which is the rate, is equal to the square root of the inverse of its mass. And if I take ammonia over hydrochloric acid, the what? The molecular mass of ammonia is 17. So when you take 36 divided by 17, you get 2.1176. Take the square root of 2.1176, you get 1.455. From, from here, we see that ammonia diffuses 1.455 times faster than HCl. Well, because it's so much lighter. And if you do take the inverse of 1.455, you'll notice that HCl diffuses 0.687 times that of NH3. So what's interesting, if you take the fact that HCl diffuses 0.687 times that of NH3, that would mean that 68.7% of the distance between the two gases is due to that line, the ammonium chloride. So that's because the NH3 is faster. So that line of NH3 meets HCl 68% 69% of the distance between them. So we can take that 69% and times it by the length of the tube to find the actual distance where that white line separates the two gases, which will support the ratio.